I'm Gordon Cooper with NXP. I'm here to tell you about the LPC4370, one of the newest members of our 4300 series of microcontrollers. The LPC4370 is based on the ARM Cortex-M4. It's a 32-bit core with some digital signal processing capabilities. We have the fastest core in the industry at 204 megahertz. Now, the 4300 is a dual core family. It also has an M0 coprocessor. And the advantage of the coprocessor, it helps you partition your code. If you want the M4 to do fast number crunching, the M0 can handle a lot of your USB stack or other I.O. needs. The 4370 has a fast ADC. It's an 80 mega sample, 12-bit ADC. It's the fastest integrated ADC on a microcontroller in the industry. The 80 mega sample ADC can run up to 80 mega samples per second. It has six channels or one differential channel if you want to use it in differential mode. You also have the original two ADCs on the 4300 family that are 8-channel 10-bit, giving you a total of 22 channels of, of ADC inputs. Another new feature on the 4370 is this subsystem peripheral domain. And in this domain, you have an M0 to handle some peripheral I.O. capabilities. It has some dedicated memory in this domain, and you have a SPI and the serial GPIO. The serial GPIO is a unique NXP interface that allows you to have up to 16 different slices, if you will, of clocks and shift registers. With these configurable bits, you can actually create and emulate other peripherals like an I2S or SPI. You can reduce the need for bit banging if you have some non-standard interface that you have to interface to, or it makes a great high-speed interface to a field programmable FPGA. Other features worth mentioning on the 4370, we have USB, and one of the USBs has a high-speed PHY built in, which is nice. If you're doing high-speed acquisition with the 80 mega sample ADC, you can process on the, on the industry's fastest Cortex-M4 and output via high-speed USB using the high-speed PHY all on one chip. The 4370 is a flashless device. The reason it is flashless is we optimize the amount of SRAM on chip at 264K sitting on the main bus. We also have an additional 18K of memory sitting in the subsystem for a total of 282K of SRAM on chip. Now, you might say, yes, but what about my program memory? And that is where the innovative SpyFlash interface comes in. The SpyFlash interface makes an external 4-bit quad spy look like 32-bit memory to the cores and it can actually execute code from this external bus. So think of the SpyFlash interface as a quad spy accelerator that you can actually execute code from. So that means it'll be a lower cost solution than a flash part, and you have the ability with Spiffy to scale not just up to one meg or two meg of memory, you can go to four meg or eight meg of memory very easily and still be able to execute code from this space. So how do you get started with the LPC4370? Well, first thing you want to do is take a look at the 4370-based Link 2 board. You can see the 100-pin 4370 part right on this board. If you attach this lab tool to the Link 2, you actually now can get a logic analyzer and oscilloscope, which is a really cool way of using some of the features of the 4370. So the fast ADC, the fast digital inputs with the serial GPIO, the fast high-speed USB to communicate to your PC, and the fast M4 core all give you the capabilities of a logic analyzer as well as a very fast microcontroller platform. For more information on the LPC4370 or the Link2 board or the lab tool, follow the link below. Thank you for watching.